There we go, guys. Vieira's second signing in his tenure at Palace. Mark Gay has signed a five-year deal from Chelsea. Buzzing. I mean, it's the worst-kept secret at Palace right now. I mean, we've known this for the last few days. There was a picture leaked of him holding the Palace away kit with uh, Patrick Vieira at St. George's Park. Um, obviously, it was about five, four or five days ago we heard the news that we'd agreed uh, a fee to sign uh, Mark Gay from, from Chelsea. And I can't tell you how buzzing I am. This whole week, I've just been waiting to see him, the official interview, the official picture of him holding the shirt, and to see it finally confirmed and over the line. You, you, you know, you can't... <laughs> you can't um, you can't assume anything nowadays, especially after the whole Favre and um, Nuno situation. So um, I was just so relieved, so happy to see this news come out in about an hour ago. Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's it's really exciting to see this Vieira revolution at the club. Um, we go, I tweeted about it earlier earlier in the, in the week. I think that the club had to go down this route. We had the oldest squad in the league, an ageing squad, loads of players out of contract, still some players out of contract right now, which hopefully we sort out soon. Um, but the club had to go down that route of signing young, hungry, uh, promising players with a lot of potential to steer this club in the next phase of its history. We've gone through this phase under Hodgson, and I guess you can bundle into that, not so much the bore, but you can bundle in Allardyce before that with these players that are hard, gritty you know, good at defend, defending, staying solid and then counter-attacking, obviously within the DNA of the club. And now we're starting to see that revolution where we're starting to get some flary, young, hungry players playing this new style of football where we'll be playing out from the back. It was obviously a really, uh, really exciting to see the players for the first time playing the Vieira away against Walsall. Obviously, it's a pre-season friendly against Walsall. You can't really read too much into it. But the first half, I thought we were fantastic, the way we moved the ball about. And it's a lot of promising things there. Um, again, don't want to get too overexcited, but the potential is there, 100%, um, with, the, with the squad and the, the philosophy that Vieira and his backroom team are trying to implement. And yeah, more, more, more on that on another day. But Mark Gay. Obviously, under England under-21 international, he's won the England under-17 World Cup. That amazing young team, which had Jadon Sancho, Phil Foden in there. Naira Kirby, of course, who featured against Walsall in, uh, at the weekend as well. Um, it just bundles of talent for such a young man. He's only 21 years of age and he's already been uh, one of the players of the season in the Championship last season. Probably the defender of the season for the Championship last season. Some amazing stuff uh, and amazing performances he put in for Swansea. Loves to play out from the back. He, he regards himself as very comfortable in possession and on the ball. Whilst having that physical trait, obviously, about over six foot physical guy, but very good with his feet. And it just builds into the philosophy that Vieira and the team are trying to now implement. Playing out from the back and trying to be quicker on the ball, move the ball quickly from back to front, uh, but retaining possession and, and converting more chances. And... I'm, I, I, as you can tell, I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I really hope all of you guys are as well. Any of you who are a little bit like this about him or don't know much about him, trust me. Look at, I know on YouTube, clip uh, highlights and compilations show, only show the best of a player and rarely show anything bad. But trust me, look at his performances for Swansea last season and look how much the Chelsea fans are upset about him leaving the club. And I think you, you will understand what a player we've got ourselves here. For, on a five-year deal as well, such an exciting bit bit of transfer news, and that's two uh, really, really uh, two of the best young players in the championship last season, if not the best young players in the championship last season, signed up for under thirty million, and I think that is unbelievable business. And by the sounds of things, it looks like there's m many, many more players to come. Hopefully, there are more to come because two players won't be enough um, uh, for the, when the season comes comes to fruition. We will need more players in the squad. But what a start to the window. Um, Elise, Gay, first two signings off the bat in the Vieira era. And I could not be happier. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. More news to come, hopefully. More videos to come as well on this channel. Let me know your thoughts and obviously what you want to see from the channel down below. And yeah, it's gearing up to a really exciting season at Palace. Hopefully you get the, the home kit coming out next. And uh, a few more signings to be uh, holding up that famous shirt.